The aircraft behind me is a Spitfire 1A, which is the only flying exhibit owned and operated by the Imperial War Museum. This is a Spitfire 1A, which is an eight-gun Browning version, which is the, the mainstay Spitfire aircraft of that period. It was flown by uh, squadron leader Geoffrey Stevenson, who was the squadron leader of 19 Squadron at the time, and unfortunately flew it on its one and only mission and was shot down and crash-landed on the beach at Sangat near Calais as part of the Operation Dynamo Dunkirk evacuation. The letters on the fuselage QV relate to 19 Squadron, which is the squadron based out of Duxford. In fact, this very aircraft flew from this very hangar on the day it was lost. After the aircraft was shot down and crash landed on the beach at Sangat, it became something of a tourist attraction for the German soldiers in the area, and they all used to go along and have their photographs taken with it crashed on the beach, and inevitably they would take a souvenir, i.e. part of the aircraft, they'd take away with them as a souvenir on the day. Uh, and as the war went on, more and more of the aircraft went missing, and the remaining superstructure in the engine and the cockpit section sank underneath the beach and remained there until 1986 when it was recovered, uh, it was brought back to the United Kingdom in 2000 uh, and the restoration commenced uh, shortly thereafter and it took 14 years almost to the day for it to be restored back to flying condition. It flew again in March 2014. This is one of only four flying Spitfire 1As uh, left in the world of the sort of Battle of France, Battle of Britain era. So it's very important and is important to the Imperial War Museum because it gives a real sense of what an aircraft looked like and sounded like when it was flying. And this one regularly flies out of Duxford on air show days to demonstrate to the public what it was like and especially the sounds of what it would have sounded like to have a Spitfire flying over your head in the Battle of Britain.